I would like to introduce to you the most powerful prompt that we know of, appropriately named God Prompt. And what I'm going to do is open up my chat GPT and show you how to use God Prompt to create more powerful prompts that ultimately lead you to creating a super powerful and specific output. So you'll see God prompt in the resources below where you can just copy it and paste it and use it for yourself. But essentially this is it right here. And what you'll do is you'll, you'll take this text and copy it directly into ChatGPT. And what it says is please forget all prior prompts. I want you to become my prompt creator. So God prompt creates more powerful prompts. Your goal is to help me build the best detailed prompt for my needs aka by creating better prompts over and over again in iteration, it'll ultimately get you the most powerful end result that you're looking for. This prompt will be used by you, ChatGPT. Please follow the following process. Your first response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about. I'll provide my answer, but we will need to improve it through continual iteration by going through the next steps. So the way that this God prompt works is it will ask you questions that you answer. And when you answer them, it'll revise the prompt and then ask you more questions and give you suggestions until one, it has everything it needs to create what you're looking for from a powerful standpoint. Or number two, you say, I'm done. That's all I'm giving you. Number two, based on my input, you will generate three sections, the revised prompt, the suggestions, and questions. And then number three, we will continue this iterative process, um, providing additional information to ChatGPT, and you will update the prompt until it is complete. And then it says, do you understand? And I want you to put this in your tool belt. It's a very simple thing for iteration. If you have an instruction for ChatGPT, you can always ask it, do you understand? And what does it respond with? Yes, I understand the process and I'm ready to help you create the best detailed prompt for your needs. To get started, please tell me what the prompt should be about. So with this, this is the beginning of your exploration. And you can add as much context as you want, but I would encourage you in this very first one that you're looking to say, what is the problem that I'm looking to solve? As we've talked about in some of the other videos, one of the things that helps is giving it who you are, your brand voice, your target demographic. Give that context in there like you normally would. And the example that I'm showing you here is from a speaking engagement I did to a real estate company. So I used a very generic example, but it's very applicable for you. So all I said is I'm a real estate professional and I wanna create an effective marketing strategies for selling properties. That's very general in nature. So it would likely create something very general as the output. But what it does is, all right, it gives a revised prompt and then suggestions. Include the types of properties, specify your target demographic, mention any marketing channels, share any unique selling points, consider any budget constraints. So it's helping you think about, oh, what else can I add for context for ChatGPT? And then down here, it gives you questions that you can answer. What types of properties are you dealing with? Who is your target market? And a lot of times the questions and suggestions will be very similar because ChatGPT using God prompt is looking to create a more powerful prompt for you. So all I do is I go ahead and I answer it right here. And what's it do? Boom. It revises our original prompt to as a real estate professional focusing on single family homes in Orlando for families with an average income of 200K plus, help me create effective organic marketing strategies using social media to sell properties without a marketing budget. You're like, wow, that is super specific. We are just getting started. Once again, more suggestions, more questions. I answer it. Revise prompt, suggestions, questions, answer. Revise prompt, suggestions, questions, answer. So we get all the way down to this one here when it starts to give more context. And I say, develop me a 30-day social media plan. In doing so, please create a few content buckets and categories that allow me to see the variety in the content, but also make it easy to execute 
and have a well-rounded brand. So with this, yes, you can answer the questions, but I also encourage you, this is where you're going to get very good at iteration, get very specific and detailed about what you want. I don't just want a 30-day social media plan. I want buckets and categories. I want variety in my content. I want it easy to execute, and I want a well-rounded brand. See how deep and detailed I'm getting? Because I'm already looking at the process and the execution on my end, or for most of us, our team's end. So the more that we can start to think about, all right, how can we make it easy for them, seamless for them? You know what? We want this brand aligned. Boom. You go ahead and you put that in there. And this keeps on going and keeps on going and keeps on going until all of a sudden, this is what our prompt ends up looking like. As a real estate professional focusing on single family homes in Orlando for families with an average income of 200K, help me create a 30 day social media plan for Facebook and Instagram that includes posting twice a day per platform at 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Develop an easy to execute plan that maintains consistency by specifying exact posting times each day. The goal is to sell properties without a marketing budget and achieve $10 million worth of property sales this year. The average sale price of a home in Orlando is 345K. The content should include themes such as what's hot or new in the area, home buying and selling tips, new listings, local housing market trends, cool home ideas and inspiration, focusing on a 10 mile radius from downtown Orlando near Lake Eola. All content will be created using Canva and will be a mix of videos and images from your phone and text-based images without user-generated content or collaborations with local businesses. The brand colors are black and gold should be used in all the content. Wow. Look at how detailed that is. And we just started with, I'm a real estate professional. I want to create a marketing strategy. And what it ended up doing is created based on your requirements. I've created a 30 day social media plan with seven content buckets posting twice a day at 10 and five on Facebook and Instagram using your brand colors. Here's our content buckets. Here's our weekly schedule by day, by time, by category, alternating between video, image, and text. And this took maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's a little bit, it's obviously more in depth. So it's worth the time to create this. But we just created in 20 minutes an entire marketing strategy for a real estate company in Orlando. And I have no experience whatsoever in the industry. I could literally take this and go to all of the real estate brokerages in Orlando and say, hey, any of you or any realtors interested in a marketing strategy that includes video, image, and text and posting twice a day on multiple platforms. So this is the power of God prompt. And I would encourage you, step one, start playing around with it. You might be like, wow, I don't quite understand it yet. Well, the next level of this is now that you've got it, go ahead and start experimenting with it. I encourage you to get specific with what you want to create as your output and then start building and answering the questions and iterating. Because what you're going to learn in this ultimately is how to create better prompts. I'm not saying you're always going to use God prompt, but you through the course of iterating through it are going to learn how to create better prompts for yourself to create faster results. So go ahead. I'm going to drop the God prompt below, copy it, paste it into your chat GPT, use it, come back here, drop some comments below, let us know uh, what you think, how it work for you. Any questions, any breakthroughs, super excited for you.